Hey, what's up? It's Josh Hoffman Productions here, and we are going to be making some night photography in this photo vlog. So, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like, and let's get right into it. that spicy voiceover so we are obviously trying to get some light trails here I'm trying to get some light trails here I'm in the middle of this corridor here and it's very hard to actually get light trails in the way I'm trying to get it and we were on this um what was it called we were on a overpass we were on an overpass so it was very unsafe and i don't recommend it i had my camera on my tripod but it was still very hard to keep it steady and i had to watch for the cars to make sure i don't get hit and make sure even though i was on a little bit of a sidewalk area so this was a very these were very hard shots to get um i really tried and as you can see that bright light on the left that is a semi truck and a police car and it made it very hard to get a shot they eventually leave you can see later in this clip as i can show you right now but that being said it did make it so while i was trying to get that shot because we didn't have no idea to make it harder to take that shot because we had no idea when they were going to leave Luckily, they eventually left the police officer and the semi-truck. Um, I did get some good light trails, but personally, I didn't get any great light trail videos. I think this is a learning experience. This is probably not the best overpass for light trails. So if I were to do light trails again, I would go into Portland and go on the side and kind of go have cars going by me and do a light trail or be on top of like be on a bridge or something and do light trails that way so yeah um here's one of the photos that i made and as you can see it's pretty good it's a pretty good photo the light trails are um obviously like they're obviously light trails um i had to turn the shutter speed all the way down like i turned it to i believe one and one to uh two one to the half like one like one slash two you know and it was just the the shutter speed was really low and it was really hard to get a good photo um but as you can see we got i got some good photos of this intersection so for the next shot we are for the next place we are going to go to this Oregon this area that is on top of this like hill and that's where we're gonna go next so I will meet you there <laughs> There's an ambulance and like two cop cars. Went to Dollar Tree to get my brother a drink and a drink. And we also got me some stuff. I got some stuff. And yeah, so now we're gonna actually go to, we're gonna go and to the spot that we're talking about for a uh, cityscape. And I don't, I'm, I'm not as happy. I'm not very happy with what I did with the light trails as I, want to be but i think i just need a new location for light trails um or try another location in light trails maybe in portland might be a good place and i got this big beast right now literally in the car <laughs> just like yeah because i don't want to take it off the tripod because i'm gonna have to use the tripod for the next one so yeah we're going there now hopefully we get i get a good shot out there get a good shot there because it, it's a really cool lookout over Oregon City, some of Portland and Gladstone, and maybe some other place, but those are the three main places. Let's start off a little bit backwards and start off with my favorite photo from this cityscape. And that would be this city 
landscape photo right here it actually blurred the lights a little bit not a lot but a little bit and actually this is my favorite photo out of here now it was hard to do night photography on both of these shots because um as you can see right here here's another shot that is actually i think pretty good um here's another one another one another one here, the, some of these i actually like like they're not great they're not bad um but they're you know like they're a five out of ten nothing spectacular nothing horrible though but what i've noticed with this with this um not challenge but with this video is that one i need to do more night photography and two um i learned a lot in this video i learned that um i need more foot i need to rec I, I need to record more footage i also i also learned that i gotta figure out my lighting i gotta figure out my lighting and shutter speed and aperture for all for especially night photography because at daytime photography i'm pretty good at using my aperture and uh shutter speed but when it comes to nighttime photography it seems to not be that good so that is something i'm gonna have to work on for the next vlog or the next couple photo vlogs so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new and don't forget to stay creative peace out bye